What's up, everybody? What's up, everybody? Jeff Cross here. You can contact me at jeffcross22 at gmail.com. All right, let's get started. First things first, congratulations. You made it through October. <laughs> All the rule changes. Uh, yeah, I think I think we were do, I think we are doing extremely well with these rule changes and the, uh, the scrimmages we have in October. Uh, all those things are, you know, I have a few questions come my way, but for the most part, we're doing pretty good. And um, it'd be interesting to see how we do when the real games come along, you know, and adjudicating those rules in a little bit more pressure-packed situation. So I know myself, I have a real game coming up this Wednesday, junior college game. So count towards the record. You know, we got to know those new rules. So I think those scrimmages, if you've had a few, hopefully use them to your advantage. All right. Went to our local high school meeting last night, and they talked about a few things. One of the things that came up was pregame. And pregame, how if you have the same three people on the crew, it uh, you know you know it's not necessary to have the the most thorough or the strongest pregame because you work together all the time and. Um, you just you know that you know, my partner's going to get that call when it comes down the lane or whatever it is. And I thought it was interesting how they were willing to accept that. You know, they were willing to accept the fact that it's okay to do less. <laughs> but um, I, I'm sure that's probably what they were thinking, but that's what I was hearing. So it was okay for them to do less because we've been doing it a long time or whatever it is. The, you know, the game, we have to prepare ourselves for the game at hand every day day in and day out so and um and maybe think of this i, I read this quote uh, the other day when i was uh, at the school so because it it is their you know if that's what they decide to do they can do it. they can do it so i read this quote it says you are free to choose but you are not free to choose the consequence of your choice so i told those guys i say hey listen if you guys don't want, don't want to do a thorough pregame you're free to choose that just remember you're not free to choose the consequence that you might have for that choice, which could be paperwork, could be losing games, could be um, not feeling comfortable coming off the floor because you didn't have a very good game. It could be a lot of things. You may luck out and be no problems at all. You may not have a, you know, have, you don't have to choose a consequence. So, I thought that was interesting. So, but whatever, you know, just remember you're free to choose, but you're not free to choose the consequence of your choice. Um, the second thing I thought was interesting, so we talked about a few rules things, and we brought up a few rules questions, and um, during that time, I did that, and there were some people that were hesitant on answering these questions in a group of 35, 40 people. Um, we'd, we'd bring up a rules question, they were very hesitant. They kind of knew it, they thought they knew it, they weren't sure, you know, whatever it is, which is fine. You may or may not know the rule. After we get done, we always go out to this place called Oliver's and we have a few appetizers, you know, and uh, sit around and talk and watch whatever game's on. Well, last night the football game was on, the Sunday night football game, and then, of course, the World Series was on. And then the same group of people that were in that meeting, now not all of them, but there was a you know, big group there. They were talking about their fantasy football team or fantasy baseball or fantasy this or that, and they knew every point that their fantasy football quarterback had scored, but they were hesitant on a rule that they get paid for. So I thought that was very, very interesting how well we know our fantasy team make believe <laughs> than we do our real, you know, what do you want to call it, part-time job, full-time job, whatever that is, something you're getting paid to do, you're not that confident in. But you're very confident that your quarterback scored 28 points this week. I thought it was interesting how we how we do that. So this quote came to my mind when I saw that happening. Don't do a half a day's work for a full day's pay. And I think that's what we do sometimes as officials. We try to put in a half a day's work for a full day's pay. You know, they think, well, it's a part-time job, uh, you know, but I don't have to do that much, so, but... I, I still would like all my money. <laughs> so kind of remember that, you know, don't do a half a day's work for a full day's pay. I think um, I think you probably go a lot, lot further in officiating and in life if you uh, can try and uh, stick with that. So, um, and the last thing I want to leave you with, and I think at the end of the day, I think I've said it before, 
Um, at the end of the day, you're going to say two things. You're going to say, I wish I would have, or I'm glad I did. So, I wish I would have had a better pregame. That way we're not sitting in the locker room talking about how bad a game it was. Or, I'm glad I did have a really good pregame. So I can go home and sleep easy tonight. So, but, uh, so that's just my, uh, my thoughts. That's what's the stuff I learned this week. And I learned a lot of it just yesterday. So, um, we got to be trained observers and that's what I was doing. I was just really, uh, trying to figure out ways to make myself better. And, um, I believe, uh, me, me going to that high school meeting made myself better. I think I can, uh, apply some of that stuff to, uh, my game and, and I'm not going to do a half a day's work for a full day's pay. So, Hey, I appreciate you guys listening. Remember, you can contact me at jeffcross22 at gmail.com. Remember, everybody, do hard things.